What's up, Garage Goons? It's Tyler, your boy, the most trash show on YouTube. And we're back. Um, I decided to film. Let me know in the comments, first of all, before we get into it. I decided to film this one in the 916 ratio to where it's full screen vertical. So if a lot of you guys watch on your phones and you prefer this um, view versus the wide angle, like, um, let me know in the comments um, and let me know if you prefer that because I don't care. I'll film all my stuff, selfie mode style, whatever. And uh, the, the, the uh, YouTube videos, whatever, will, um, you know, fill your whole phone screen. If all of you guys are phone watchers, why shoot in wide angle? Unless you like to turn your phone sideways and hit the little wide angle button in the corner. Um, or if you're watching me on your Roku's or your smart TVs or whatever. That's cool too. But yeah, let me know in the comments. <clears throat> but today, guys, I know I promised uh, that I would make some more review videos. I have a pre-workout coming. I have other fragrances coming. But today, we're doing a fragrance review. The, the uh, fragrance I chose to review has been requested several times in the comments. And among the homies, this is probably one of the most popular ones. And it is going to be Versace eros edt now um i got the biggest bottle of this ever um it wasn't i didn't purchase this um it was a gift from my wife um and i believe it was her um her late father's um so uh, yeah um he passed on unfortunately and um uh, this is something that he had in his house and so that was my first experience with Versace Eros and I've had this for about two years and it's still like over halfway there you can see like it's you know there's still a good amount in here this is one of my wife's favorite um, fragrances that I wear but let's get into the review so Versace Eros all right it's got a I think it's a metal atomizer I believe it's metal a nice heavy cap clicks into place you can hear it this bottle is pretty old probably like three four years old if I had to guess um, but clicks into place okay so um, but definitely I wouldn't recommend picking this bottle up by the cap especially this bottle this is the 200 mil I would never suggest buying anything in 200 mil unless the deal is just so good that you just can't pass it up um, just because it's like bro this is so I'm never gonna have to buy euros again like I'm gonna have this forever I mean if I run out I'll buy it again because like I said it's my wife's favorite but fuck man look at like my hand is big as hell and it it doesn't feel comfortable holding this one it's so big but hey it's nice not to have to go out and buy it ever again right so so let's talk about the spray the atomizer like I said is metal the cap clicks into place oh and here's a cool little detail it it's got this weird like elf looking thing on the front um which i i think it's a reference to some sort of greek god i didn't do my research um, but it's also got that same kind of insignia on the top of the cap which is really cool um and it's got the gold cap the gold um atomizer sprayer and gold writing and it's a bluish turquoise bottle now let's get into it <clears throat> spraying it Normally I like to wear the scent. I'm gonna review that day, but today my back has been in pain. I just um, I just did a fight. I just won a fight. Um, super happy about it, but I, two days later, am dealing with the consequences. Uh, fighting is a young man's game, and I'm out here with my crazy ass about to be 35 years old, still doing it. So um, my body is just not healing up as quick as it used to, but that's fine. My back will get better. Ugh. But yeah, like I said, I normally like to wear it, but right now I smell like icy hot and I got patches on my back. I got like some herbal rub, so I can't, I, I couldn't wear it. It would just, the smells would just be too much. But oh man, first off, this thing is real sweet. It's one of the sweeter f fragrances, but it's not like a... It's not like a synthetic or like candy sweet where it's like too much. It gives you a headache. It's not like 9 p.m. or whatever. Um, I'm getting like pear, green apple, and maybe uh, some citruses in there. 
Um, it's got a little bit of an aquatic smell, but not too much shower gel. It's very dominant in the sweet, pleasant, fresh fruitiness of it all. Um, it's like I said, it's got some, it's got definitely got green apple. It's definitely got pear and it's definitely the green apple in this is not like the green apple in, um, Issa Laurent, uh, YSLY, right? It's not, it's not that candy apple. It's, it smells more like a fresh grocery store green apple, some pear and some sweet, sweet notes, maybe some, a little bit of floral notes, but guys, there is a use for this. This is like the most clear use, um, like for any fragrance I can think of. This is, I need to be smelled. I need to be smelled. I want people to notice me. I don't want to have to walk past people. I don't want to try too hard. This projects. If there's one thing this thing does really well, better than almost anything else I've ever tried, it jumps off of your skin and your shirt and um, on clothes, this is an all day banger. On my skin, I get about six to eight hours. But the thing with this is it just, it's a room filler. It like people will smell you. Don't wear this in the office. Okay, some people might love you if you do it. Some people will absolutely hate your guts and never talk to you again. But this is like you're going to a party. You're going on a date, right? Um, and she's going to be sitting across the table and you want her to know that you put on cologne. She's going to pick it up. This jumps out. It just absolutely does. And it never really gets dry. It's a very linear scent, which a lot of people are like, oh, that's boring. Well, not if the scent is just really good and pleasant the whole time, right? Like you don't need this scent to change eight different times and transform into like five different smells, depending on how long you've had it on your skin. If you like the way it comes out of the bottle, a lot of people will go to the whatever store they go to to test out um, colognes and fragrances and perfumes, whatever. And they'll all they'll do is they'll spray it in the air and see how it smells or they'll spray it on the, on the uh, paper and they'll see how it smells. And that's what they'll go off of. You shouldn't do that. You should test it on your skin. But this is one of the rare ones that, in my opinion, it smells the same, at least for me, on my skin as it does on the paper, as it does in the air. And it doesn't change. It's very pleasant. It jumps off your skin. It's a nice, masculine, leaning, sweet smell. I think girls could wear this. But it definitely has a little bit of just a, a hint of masculine musk to it. Like... I don't know. There's, there's pheromones in this. Women love this fragrance, really. Like Versace, like it, it's such like a huge iconic, you know, designer brand. Um, but in the fragrance cologne world, it's weird because they do a lot of dupes or a lot of like inspired by scents, and not a whole lot of original scents. This is theirs. This is their scent all their own. The Euros line is Versace. That's where their money is. That's what they pour their R&D into. That's what they try to develop all these flavors, uh, these different um, types of Euros. Like they got the the Euros red, the red one. I forget what Euros Flame, I think it's called. And then now they have the Euros Energy. So this is, this is their bread and butter and this is what they put all of their effort into. So, um, you know, obviously it's good. It's been around for a long time. I don't know how many years, but it's got to be at least a decade now. And it's one of the most year over year. If you look in the top five, it's in there. It's one of the top five sellers every single year, right up there with Dior Sauvage, YSLY, all of the popular, you know, excuse me, all of the popular fragrances. It's right in the mix. So, um, and the dry down, like I said, it doesn't change. It just jumps off your skin the whole time. It's really just like it, you spray this on, an hour later you sit in your car, you close the door, you go to run your errands, whatever, you open the door, your car is gonna smell like this now. I don't know how this thing jumps off your skin so hard, but um, this is really a room filling banger. So if you're a single guy going to the club, this is the answer. I think this is the most universally appealing quote unquote club scent, the type of scent that jumps off your body, not the cuddle scent, not that she's got to get up close, not the cuddling scent. This is fucking 
you're in a room full of people and you want to stand out, this is going to power through. It's going to cut through all of the other smells. You know, you're at a house party, it's going to cut through the smell of beer and booze in the air, it's going to cut through the smell of weed. People will smell this on you. And it is a fantastic, fantastic um, fragrance. One of my favorite uh, colognes to wear if I'm going to be doing something like I mentioned. If we're going out dancing, I'll put this on. If we're going out, um, you know, and it's going to be like a party scenario, this is one of the ones I go to. Okay, so I love this, this scent. My wife loves it way more than I do. Um, but this is up there, man. It's really good and it's really safe. If you want to get something that a lot of people mass appealing are going to love, get this. And this is the one I have is the EDT version. I don't have experience with EDP or the Parfum, but from what I've um, uh, uh, from what I've gathered from other reviews and stuff, they all basically smell the same. They perform a little differently, but for the most part, it's not like different ones that have EDP and it smells a little different. Um, or the Parfum that smells way different. It's not like that. All of them smell around the same, and I think you should get the EDT because that EDTs, even though that's supposedly the lowest concentration, those are always the ones that jump off your skin the hardest. They might not last the longest, but as far as jumping out there, the EDT is the way to go. Versace Euros, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about the most trash show on YouTube, ring the notification bell, all that shit. Um, and I appreciate you guys and also side note. I appreciate everyone who's checked out my fight video Obviously, I know it's not my most popular stuff fragrance stuff and my review stuff is way more popular Than my fight stuff, but I'm passionate about it and it's gonna keep coming So all of the people that have viewed it and liked it and given me support. I appreciate you um, and uh, Paco Raban Phantom EDP is coming next so if you want to see that you want to see what's up with the little black robot bottle I'm gonna give it to you all right so garage goons like comment subscribe and also again let me know if you like this mode the vertical mode better than the wide mode I'll start shooting like this all right we out peace